my name is Katie Carson. I am a soap maker. I, uh, yes, that's my real job and that is what I do to make money. You can laugh, it's okay. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen you. I took a break for once in like four years for Christmas time to spend some time with my family, refresh, kind of get my act together for 2021 as far as royalty soaps is concerned. And here I am, I have returned to the land of the YouTube. Now one thing a lot of you guys said during the 12 days of soap mist, which didn't actually end up being the 12 days of soap mist, was that the room was dark and that this background is ugly and you are correct. <laughs> You're totally right. We are in the process of renovating my soap studio uh, that is adjoined to a guest house. So over the next couple of weeks, I will be filming a transformation series, hopefully, please don't hold me to this, of everything in the background getting put up real pretty. We're going to put in all new lighting. It's going to be cheery and happy and pretty, and you just have that to look forward to. So just so you know, I have heard your requests and have taken note and we will be going forth hopefully with beauty by the time um February or March videos roll around. So for the first completely new series in 2021 we are doing something called slumber party. So I will show you guys the Pinterest board right now. These are all the photos I picked to inspire me for this collection. Mary Kate and Ashley. We have yummy like like slumber party snacks. It has a very late 90s slash early 2000s feeling to it. I really, really like that. It's very nostalgic to me. This was just such a fun feeling to be a kid with your buddies, eating snacks, watching movies. Like there's hardly anything that beats it. I thought it'd be a killer way to bring in 2021. I know 2020 was very difficult for a lot of people. So I thought why not start it out on a super positive note with all the nostalgia nostalgia that I can muster in a single collection. So today's video we are making boy band, which of course, I mean, come on, come on, we have to do it. It smells so good. It is a custom blend, very secret sauce from myself. Um, very, very aquatic, got sort of an herbaceous smell. It's fantastic. And then of course we had to go in with those cool colors. We're very reminded of the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, One Direction, I know. How dare I throw all three of those together in one sentence. However, I love One Direction. I'm st I still love it. <laughs> I'm 26. I still love it. It's a bop and now I'm gonna die on that hill, okay? So, boy band was the inspiration. Um, no glitter on this soap. It's kind of edgy. Um, I was just, it's a fun time. So before we jump into the video and get started with this really, really awesome collection, um, if you guys have time and are interested, uh, there is a member of the Royalty Soaps team. Her name is Joanna. She is the one that has done all of the customer service for us in 2020. She has helped out hundreds of people with their needs. She is one of my closest friends. I really only have two friends. You guys have probably heard me talk about um, how I call her Joanna. <laughs> we talk about the rescuers down under. That's my Joanna. She actually has moved quite close to me. So she and I get to see each other all the time and it's really great. Um, and in the first week of 2021, when, you know, everybody is trying to start off fresh and we're, we're kind of cleaning off the slate of 2020, uh, she and her husband experienced um, a very difficult loss. There has been a lot of grief that we are all working through, but especially their family. And there have been a lot of very unexpected um, medical bills and expenses um, that came up ab out of absolutely nowhere. Um, I'm not going to talk about it anymore here for those of y'all who may be sensitive to topics of grief and loss, but if you are strong and you are able, I'm going to leave their GoFundMe down below. Um, I'm the one in charge of the GoFundMe. I love their family very much. I just wanted to put that as an available thing in the next coming videos. It won't just be in this one. I'll be putting it in all of the videos for January. Um, for those of y'all who are in a position perhaps to give to someone who has helped you out in customer service, kind of a way to give back to them and their family during this very difficult time. Just wanted to put that out there. No pressure, but it's there. And then of course, just as a minor announcement, um, my other best friend, Caroline, who works alongside with me, she is my assistant. She is going to be taking over customer service needs for an indefinite amount of time. So if you see somebody else's name in there that you haven't seen before, that's my girl and she's going to take care of your needs. So just need to get that little announcement out there real quick. And and then we will move along 
time. Have an amazing time with this video. I really hope you guys like this boy band. Oh, it's just, oh, it's really good. You're gonna love it. It's a fabulous swirl. Anyways, without further ado, let's make some soap. <laughs> okay, I am ready to go. Now, this oil looks a little cloudy, but it is the proper temperature, so don't worry. It's not gonna turn out bad or anything. It's sitting right at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Some lye water. I'm just gonna pour straight into my oils here. And of course, I have on all of the proper protective wear you should have on whenever you're working with caustic substances, which includes gloves and long sleeves, pants and closed toed shoes. I have protective eyewear that um, fits my face very well. And of course, I have a hairnet on for hygienic purposes. And now I'm just gonna blend this up on high until it's just past emulsion and I don't see any oil floating. Ugh, I have missed this. Look at this. Look at this lovely creamy texture. It looks like vanilla pudding. <laughs> and now I'm going to pour off about 60 ounces into these two white pitchers that you can get from Dollar Tree. They had them online last time I checked, but you can also just get them in stores depending on where you live. I can pick them up at the Terrell Dollar Tree. Okay, let's add a little bit of color in. Into this first container nearest me, I am adding a color called Angry Rose. This is very similar to Queen Catherine from TKB Trading, but I'm pretty sure they were out of stock whenever I was looking to make this soap. And so so I got this one from Mad Micah's. It's a very, very nice kind of rusty, well, red rose color. I wasn't really looking for like Santa Claus red. I really wanted something a little more deeper, a little more mysterious. Into this container, I'm adding something called Steelworks. So this one is a gray, obviously, kind of a neutral gray, but it leans black. So there's different micas that kind of make sparklier white grays and darker kind of black grays. This is kind of a black gray, so I'm going to take it down a couple notches with a little bit of water-soluble titanium dioxide. Just gonna pop that right in there. And finally, we're gonna add some black to this container. First, I'm adding in activated charcoal. I love adding in activated charcoal and mixing it with oil because it always gets so fluffy. It's like a black mousse kind of. And then to deepen that up, I'm gonna add in a little bit of black oxide. So that's gonna really be the thing that colors this portion of the soap. And then we'll add in my super secret sauce fragrance oil and kaolin clay blend. Scrapey, scrapey be out my little stainless steel container. And now we blend. All right, fan flipping tastic. Everything is blended in. My whole studio smells divine. I'm just gonna scrape these corners real quick. I see a teeny tiny bit of batter that isn't incorporated. That sometimes happens whenever you have a square container to put your soap in. And now we can pour into our large slab mold after this quick commercial break. This fragrance oil is performing so beautifully in this soap. So I'm gonna pour about half of my black batter into the mold real quick. And now we'll start the drop swirl. So I get asked pretty often why I do drop swirl so, so often. <laughs> There's a couple of reasons. So one of the reasons is that there is design versatility with a drop swirl that I just really appreciate because no two drops are gonna look the same. You can use the same pouring technique and have completely different outcomes depending on how thick your batter is. So I like being able to use a technique and get good at it 
and still get widely different results based on the batter and how high you're holding your container. It, it just, it adds a lot of variety to something. And I love that. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is because when you're doing batches of this size, so I'm making about 50 bars or so in a batch, um, things get thicker faster, especially if you're using a lot of color or a certain type of fragrance. That's, that's just kind of par for the course. And you might be surprised to learn that 50 bars or so is not actually that big a batch. Now, you probably see people on YouTube and maybe you have a friend that makes soap and they make much smaller batches than that and that's very normal for hobbyists to maybe make a six to 10 bar batch because that's all they really need and they're making it for the design and for fun, but for a professional who has to make soap to sell, um, that's not very time conducive to do batches that small. So you have to do something slightly bigger. Now, 50, again, it is not that big a batch. When you start getting into like mega production mode, I know people that make three to 600 bars in one batch. I know, they're like soap superstars. Now, hold on a second, let me go ahead and scrapey scrapey my big containy here because I've already poured all of it. That's how quickly you can go whenever you're talking and um, it's been a while and you're excited. You can pour the whole thing in like, you know, three or four minutes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so the rest of what's in here, I'm just gonna splitter splatter on top. Let me go ahead and put some on this side. Let me go ahead and put this red in first though before I do the other one. So yeah, anyways, three to 600 bars in a batch. So 50 is still pretty small. And due to all the colors and the intricacy of the design, uh, we'll probably never make batches at Royalty Soaps bigger than that, even though they are more time efficient to do so. Obviously, it's gonna be more time efficient to make a batch with a lot of bars in it than one with just 50, but that's part of the appeal of Royalty Soaps is the actual design of the bars, is the, kind of the more artisan nature. We don't have very rustic looks for um, our artisan and frosted soaps. The are uh, a little more intentional, I would say. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with having, you know, one color pours or two color pours. Um, but for these particular bars and for my particular soap style, that doesn't exactly match. So what does this mean for a drop swirl? Essentially, um, you're limited when you do a batch this big and you have to make so many of them. Royalty soap still hasn't met demand. So I can't be spending tons and tons and tons of time doing, you know, 20 layer designs and having to mix up different batters like to make make it, that's not time conducive, especially when you have customers who already message you saying like, there wasn't enough for me. That was also never really my style in the first place. If you look at some of my older designs versus the ones I do now, there's really not that big a difference. I, I have never been one to create like landscape soaps. That just wasn't my soaping style. So it all seemed to work out pretty good. I'm, I'm right in the middle there. I don't make the most intricate soaps, but I also don't make the most simple ones. Now I have all that beautiful soap on top, let's go ahead and texture it. Hark! Alas, where hath my chopstick scampered off to? Where is it, gosh darn? I think it's in the other room. I had requested a chopstick, but a swirling wand will do me proper. Another reason I do swirls like this is because I want the individual top of every single bar to have a really pretty design on it. If you over swirl, it'll be too convoluted by the time you cut it. If you under swirl, not every single bar gets kind of that love and attention. And I have found that with this particular swirling method, everybody's included and nothing is too messy. <laughs> all the way down, ugh, so satisfying. And all the way down again. I also typically run around the edge just once to pull under that teeny tiny bit of soap that sometimes gets caught. Gonna go ahead and spritz with rubbing alcohol. Boop, 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 do, do, do. 
And we're done with boy band. Do your best to ignore the shiny, shiny, <laughs> reflective glare on this soap. But this is what it looks like up close. And it now just occurs to me that these are like the exact same brand colors as the guy boy in a band on YouTube, which was not purposeful, but a, a delightful surprise to say the least. So I'm going to let this sit for 18 to 24 hours. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm not gonna cover it. I'm not gonna insulate it. It's gonna sit right here on my table, just like that for 24 hours. And then we'll come back and we'll split the slab into loaves and cut those loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. And I am so excited. It's so good to be back. Look upon it! Look upon the boy band soap. Oh, it does. It does remind me of Axe in middle school. I'm sorry. I can't get away from it. It also reminds me of the Jabberwocky soap, like I said before, like even more so today than yesterday because these grays and these blacks have mellowed out a little bit. Oh, Obsessed! Shall we take a peek inside? Yes, we shall. Ha 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 ha! Mmm! Oh, the smell! So good! I'm so pleased! It looks like dark fire. I showed this to Caleb and I was like, look, honey, look! It looks like your aesthetic. And he was like, maybe my aesthetic in high school. I'm a country boy now. And he said it just like that. Caleb is from Kansas, or at least a good majority of his family are. He actually moved around quite a bit, so he does not have any sort of accent at all and has worked very, very hard to not have one. So him saying, I'm a country boy, just, it's too much for me. Over the past few weeks, he has discovered uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and somebody else that I can't remember. Um, out of absolutely nowhere, I do not listen to that type of music. Well, I do now, because he's forcing me to, but uh, the only person I listened to was Johnny Cash, and I think he just jumped down the rabbit hole of that old, old country, rock, indie, folk, whatever all of that is. I think those guys are, are in a couple of different genres, but yeah, he just jumped right in and um, has determined Determined that that's his new music taste. So when he looked at these bars, he was like, not fitting anymore. You need to make me like a psychedelic looking one with uh, a peace sign on it. <laughs> it's so edgy. It's so moody. <laughs> I love it. You should wear it with a stud belt or maybe even, come on now, you're gonna have to reach back into your brain. Perhaps you even remember the seat butt, seat butt? <laughs> seat belt buckle belts like it's a belt but it looks like a seat belt come on come on some skinny jeans and some red and black checkered vans come on it's a whole look i'm thrilled i'm so excited if you want a bar this soap will be available to purchase at royaltysoaps.com february 6th at 3 p.m central standard time with the rest of the slumber party collection. I may also have a few other bars. Just as a disclaimer, sometimes we have peasant soaps and peasant soaps are just soaps that didn't make it past our royal quality check. Often because they don't look the same as the other bars. So we're really, really picky about quality standards. So if this has a different swirl on top or one of them is textured, but all the rest of them are swirled, the textured one goes into peasant bar and we discount it. So it's still great soap, still smells great, often colored very well, but it just isn't like the other ones. And we typically don't announce those. <laughs> They're just there, surprise, on the site if we have them available. So 
on February 6th when we restock everything, you can be looking for those and they're a little cheaper than the other bars. I also just want to go ahead and let you guys know that sometime in 2020, probably in the second quarter, there will be a price increase for royalty soaps bars. I have not increased the price of my soaps, either for Artisan or Frosted, in about two to three years. Um, and as you go along, for those of you who don't know about, you know, businesses and economics, you're typically supposed to raise your prices a little bit every year um, just to keep up with inflation. But uh, we haven't done that, so there it will be a small price increase, but it won't be anything big. I'm just letting you know so you don't get there and be like, has there been a mistake? And um, yeah, it's really good to be back. Thanks for just vibing with me today. I'm really excited about some of the other bars that we have coming out. There's some really fantastic smelling ones that I can't wait for you guys to see. I'm just happy to be back on YouTube. The break was good and I definitely needed it, but something is just so fabulous about talking to you guys, getting these videos out there, interacting and commenting and, and getting content. That's just, that's what I'm supposed to do. So taking a break is super good and I might do that a little bit more throughout this year, but being back is even better. So I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, um, subscribe if you aren't already. We, it just, I just remembered this. I'm not really a numbers person because I'm gonna make the videos regardless, but I just just remember the other day that Caleb was like, did you know we hit 800,000 subscribers? And I was like, no. And then I went and looked and sure enough, there it is. There's 800,000 of you people out there, which is humbling and exciting. And uh, he says, Caleb says that we might actually hit, I cannot believe this is about to come out of my mouth and I'm slightly emotional anyway, so just bear with me. But he said we might actually hit a million subscribers this year. Just, <laughs> I'm talking way too much. This happens every time. I'm always like, oh, it'll be a quick outro. I'm still here. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be a fantastic year. Thanks you guys so much for all your love and support. Thanks for checking out that GoFundMe. Um, love you. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, have an absolutely royal day. Bye for now. Yeah.